I am uh, Divine Bisong Epe, a Cameroonian senior broadcast journalist and a senior lecturer of journalism and mass communication at the University of Boya, Cameroon. I am also the records officer in charge of student records at the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication at that university. Uh, the university uh, has an interesting history given the fact that uh, the nature of Cameroon being a bilingual country, that is English and French, uh, the, my university happens to be the only Anglo-Saxon university for the past 19 years until last year that the government decided to uh, open up another English-speaking university in the northwest of Cameroon. Our University of Boya happens to be situated in one historic town called Boya. If you remember very well the history of the reunification of the two Cameroons, uh, Cameroon, uh, Univers Boya happens to have been the German seat of government at the time, and that is where is situated the Cameroon Historic Mountain, which is uh, normally called the Mount Cameroon, apparently the highest peak in the whole of West Africa, measuring some 30, 350 feet and uh, 4,070 meters high. Uh, it's a very, very cold area in Cameroon. And you realize that uh, this university, for the past 19 years, has, as I said, it's the only Anglo-Saxon university in the country, uh, if not for the last year that uh, the government has come up with another university. And the, more, the main uh, language of instruction is English, although to uh, situate or accommodate the English-speaking students as well as the French-speaking students, the government decided to institute a policy whereby those Francophone students who are Cameroonians are also given a quota in the sense that they, uh, to make up for the English language equivalent, they are tested aptitudinally uh, uh, in the sense that they undergo a six-week intensive English language program at the end of which they take a little test. And if they pass, that makes up for the English equivalent. Um, University of Boya uh, has uh, some kind of a repute. Uh, we try as much as possible to get the best in all the domains. In my dom uh, department, per se, uh, we train journalists uh, in broadcasting, uh, in the print media, in publishing, uh, research, public relations, and advertising, at the end of which we make sure that we begin to monitor the students to see where their area of interest is and encourage them to specialize only at the postgraduate level. Uh, it would be interesting to note that the department has just sent out its first batch of master's students after three years of intensive uh, studies. Presently, the first batch of PhD students, uh, candidates, one of which, one of which uh, I think I am, uh, this is my final year, uh, to make sure that the, uh, the, 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 the staff strength of the department is consolidated. Yeah, that is an interesting question. Uh, most Cameroonians uh, have always seen uh, the United States as a big brother, a superpower, which is truly the case. And the Cameroonians, both at home in Cameroon and even here in the United States, uh, hold the United States in very high esteem, reason for which every year, if you get to the embassies, you'll find the, the number of Cameroonians, both the, young student, the younger ones as well as some elderly ones, uh, struggling to get into this uh, great nation. In fact, they believe uh, the opinion we have uh, about the United States is that kind of a big brother status whereby it is believed that uh, if you get to the United States, it's a land of plenty, opportunities, and everybody would like to get there. Everybody would want to use the American uh, nation as an example worth emulating.
Yes, uh, Susi, for, for a very long time, uh, I, I can remember if it didn't mean anything to me, I wouldn't have bothered to join that contest because last year I, I, I applied for the same program. I was recommended uh, for the Cameroon chapter, but pending the final decision from Washington, D.C., and uh, I didn't give up. Uh, this year again, I still uh, went in, and luckily enough, I was selected amongst the many journalism brains we have in the country. Uh, I think uh, SUSI uh, is a program uh, worth, uh, worth the name because it throws a lot of opportunities for boarding scholars to go and consolidate their grip on very many issues. Because you, it creates an opportunity where you meet other scholars who are well grounded in the profession and you learn and share ideas and to consolidate and move your career forward. Yeah, it is not only a question of getting something out of SUSE. I think the reverse too can be true. Because if uh, the uh, scholars don't get into participating in the program, then SUSE wouldn't move ahead. So it's a two-side or it's a two-way traffic. But the other way around, I think we, the scholars, stand to gain much from SUSE because uh, the question might come, why is it that it's only the United States? Why not another country? Which means that SUSE, as arranged or as uh, organized by the State Department, is a program that has much to offer. Uh, it throws a lot of challenges to the scholars, for those who want to progress in their career, for new openings, and for making contributions towards the development and progress of the profession journalism.